This match for you comes to us from Nord, Nord Gonder, who I submitted plenty of times before, uh, 1.2k hours, so past that point where I expect you to know most of your macro microplay in Dead by Daylight, you're playing Larry, who's an exceptionally good character, very strong AB character. Um, very hard character, though, so keep that in mind that you may not perform at the level of that strength until you invest a lot of time. Um, you are playing on Toba Landing, though, which is typically not a very cool killer map. There's a lot of interconnected loops. Uh, main building's not too nice either uh, for killer. Um, so that's kind of working against you. But let's take a look at your Anon Z perks. Okay, so you're using the uh, baseball glove and the injection thing. What is not as weak as some of his other add-ons, but that doesn't, that doesn't sound like that helps. <laughs> Cause he has some pretty sneaky ones like blindness add-ons and stuff like that but that doesn't sound that helpful i would definitely rather use like um the you're using the ball glove um you can use the plant fibers um you could use the diagnostic repair tool um the um oxygen tanks not too bad either do that as well the builds fine Nowhere to hide, pop eruption, defense energy, and then no way out, which is a good non slow down perk. I know where the entrance with the opening camera was still on this and that. I'm not even attempting to like slipstream this person at all yet. Just commit to a side! Hey, I phoned that you had some sort of power that could help you here. There you go. She doesn't get anywhere helpful though. So you just get this hit here. Yeah, you're a little slow to slip shimmer there, which is probably why it, one of the reasons. Hey, you have auto in. Just go for it. Just send it. That's that little. Yeah, just go for it. You don't have to wait. Totally not a lobster. Oh my gosh, guys. It's not actually a lobster. Source, trust me. Thank you so much to follow. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I swear, if you turn out to be a lobster, banned. That's exactly something a lobster would say. <laughs> you hear somebody working up there, but you don't go up there. Okay, so like, help me understand. I guess you're not here, but help me understand in theoretically. You hear a gen with more progress being worked on right above you after hooking, or for some reason you walk off to a gen that's like just barely been started with pop and you kick it. Keep in mind, pop, it's a proportional. It's not flat damage like pain res, meaning that it does an amount based on what is currently on the gen. It doesn't do the flat damage like pain res does. So if you're going to go kick a gen, you should ideally be going for gens that have more progress so it has more bang for your buck. In that case, you almost prioritize the gen with less progress for some reason. That's really odd to me. I don't know why you did that. Should have went to the other one. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that would frustrate me too. I would also get be upset. Also, you have eruption. Don't be afraid to like kick some gems to set up something. Don't talk about it and play them. I think it's just because like they really were at the end of the day just quality of life updates. Like he's still a fairly difficult killer. He's just a little bit nicer. I think if you were somebody on the fringe or the fringes of like enjoying or not enjoying Larry, now you will enjoy Larry. But largely, the people that weren't interested in Larry at all because of his complexity are still not going to be playing Larry because the changes weren't that uh, intense. You know. Yeah, she, she hasn't touched or done anything since. So. 
you got robbed there. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> I'd be like, what the heck, behavior? <laughs> that's why I'd be, that's right. What the heck? What the heck's going on? That's unfortunate. But now you know. Now you know he is. Uh, he's a bang gamer, and you can be more careful about that. Nice. If only you had plane fibers. Plane fiber is just one of those add-ons that, like, I knew it was good, and I didn't use it for a long time. Just because it, like, playstyle-wise, I was like... It just kind of, like, didn't fit the way I played Larry. But then... Ooh, nice. But then... Then I started playing to the add-on, I was like, this is great! <laughs> I love this! <laughs> this is amazing! <laughs> Go ahead! Stun me over clock. See if I care. <laughs> I'll do it again. Yeah, I feel like Larry's just one of the cause one of those characters that's just like really hard. If like um you're not willing to invest that time. Kinda like a Dracula can be really frustrating if you're not willing to put that time in. I would even argue that, like, I don't know, it feels like at least current Larry is, like, a little bit more straightforward than Dracula. But Dracula, you gotta learn, like... Okay, I understand that you have that thing where, like, you know, if you get stunned, it doesn't matter as Larry while you're in overclock, but you're, like, trying to bait a little too much, and especially without plant fibers, it's like... You probably could have got that hit a little bit quicker if you weren't trying to, like, specifically go for that play. You get him before he gets that? No, you do not. But at least you goop him again. I feel like plant fibers is like Larry's, um... Like, self-destruct bolt for Xeno, where it's like, not required, but it just makes the character feel better. Why did you not goop that person that was on that gen? I've noticed you kind of just like ignore people on gens. This match so far. That group didn't count. You're right, it didn't. For some reason, it just. Even though it showed it happening, it didn't go through on the HUD. That's weird. This I would kick. Because once you down here, you get a eruption. There you go. There you go. I feel like you like that a little too much. Like, it's a it's a cool thing, but especially without plant fibers, you do get hindered a significant amount going through all of these. I would, like, take your... I would take your, your usage of that and have it, at least. Or at least start running plant fibers. Return, welcome back, Ashi. Hope you're well. Still. I do like that you use the cameras for info a lot. You'd be surprised on me, Larry's just don't even check the cameras unless they're actually trying to like actively trying to hoop somebody. It's wild. It feels like you're like really committed to this whole like um I sure people at hook thing with this character. But as a result, you're ignoring like a lot of like I sure you could be getting otherwise. Diagnostic tool? Do you mean the repair one? Because technically there's more than one diagnostic tool. They're just all like different kinds. I think there's diagnostic tool repair, construction. I forget the all the names. Repair, yeah. It repairs the one I love a lot. Ball glove and the dinosaur repair tool are like my favorites. But plant fibers would be like a close third. Plant fibers is just silly and fun. Not an effect, it's just an enjoyment. Make that clear. Although those are all good picks. 
how do you counter singularity um don't stay gooped make sure you you know tie it to that make sure you have a wand or emp sorry so i i make fun of them call them wands because they look like seven moon ones throw something before you lose it kind of a similar advice i have from people facing vecna's mage hand because once he teleports to you he's gonna be like he has the ability to shred through things so quickly so throw it before you lose it otherwise you're gonna end up in a situation where you get hit through Oxygen tank? A lot of people love oxygen tank. That's never been my playstyle, but yeah. Oxygen tank, I always hear people talk so highly about. Campaign twos? Two video closer? What do you mean? We're doing good. We started our match reviews. The Slary one at the moment. Is that one of his best? He means Soma family photo? Uh, I know so I know Soma family photo is still good. I know it's not required anymore. I'm not a big live wires person. I think you you're like oh gosh this is like such a risky situation I think you've put so many like so much investment and in, like going back to hook over and over but like chasing the other person that somehow despite the fact that you kept coming back to hook you have a lot of split pressure and not like Like usually in DVD, you ping pong between like two people, but one of them is dead. But you have a lot of hex states. You've been realistically playing very quote unquote fairly. Well, they've been, th yeah, they, uh, they did a really, really cool one earlier in this one, Radiant, where they, uh, Came over a window. Honestly, you need somebody, Dad. You need to go through you either. Also, you're letting your pop wind down. Would you shoot? You could probably uh, pop whatever gen they're currently working on and apply eruption to it. Those in general, in like the last two or three gens, you kind of stop really using your pop eruption as much. you behind in terms of pressure oh jeez just ran right into you mid chapter ptb i I think it's like the 17th or something. They've had it on their roadmap release released for this month. They okay, finally have somebody dead, thankfully. Another 3k? No. Trust. Nothing's a lot. 17? Okay, I'm right that then. That's what I thought I saw, but... But I am correct on that. Good read. Very, very good read. Notice when you start using pop eruption again, like, 
they're like even further away from being able to do anything. Yo, congratulations, you enjoy your nothing. Hopefully it makes you truly happy. Some kind of compliment? I really appreciate how supportive you've been. Well, a lot of people have been in the chat for a really, really long time. They're a little bit on the newer side, but you've always been super supportive, and I really do appreciate that a lot. Yeah, that was risky. That was either gonna just barely hit or just barely miss, and unfortunately it was the other way. I was lying too. Hey. It says nothing. There's in fact nothing. Do you get this final person? Yeah, you do. Good job. Good job. Okay, so in terms of your main takeaways, you played really, really well for the most part. Um, I think that uh, your first takeaway uh, for me would be that um, you... For some reason, I don't know, it's kind of like a weird issue you had. You kind of were like ignoring people right next to you a few times. I don't know why you did that. Especially with that pop instance where like it would have been better to pop the gen that was being worked on right next to you. But like you wandered off into like the edge of the map to kick a gen that had barely any progress. That happened a few times where there was somebody like right next to you that you ignored for some reason. I don't know why you did that. Um, so try to be a little bit more aware and go after people that are near you, especially if they're on gens that are progressed a fair bit. Um, in general, with your pop interruption combo, make sure you're popping gens that have a lot of progress. Because remember, the damage is proportional, not flat. So prioritize gens that have a lot of progress um, as opposed to ones that do not. And make sure you're continuing to kick your gens and get value out of your perks. Because kick, kick perks don't do anything unless you kick things. <laughs> so do not forget to kick things. Yo, oh my. That's a lot of months. It is a lot of months. For me, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for the Prime sub for 30 whopping months, which is a crazy amount of time. Crazy amount of time. Thank you. Hopefully you're doing well today. And obviously a build comes with that. Uh, I am unfortunately doing match reviews right now, um, so I cannot do that at the moment. But when I am back on games, whenever you see that, just remind me and I'll do something for you. I appreciate that so much. I think for you specifically, I would work more on slipstreaming mid chase. Because I was noticing that you were focusing on slipstreaming people, but you're mostly doing it at hook and seemed a little hesitant to do it mid chase, which is like kind of one of singularity spread and butter strategies. So I try to focus more on slipstreaming people mid chase than exclusively doing it the hook. This is the primary way you did it, especially like with that Ada at the beginning. Like if you'd slipstreamed her earlier, that chase would have been a lot quicker for you. It ended up being fairly long because <laughs> you didn't get that slipstream till way later. So yeah.